With over a hundred features, the Notion Enhancer is one of the most powerful Notion add-ons that you can get to customize your Notion desktop app. And in this video series, I'm going to be walking you through every single one of these options so that you can decide which one is best suited for your needs. And trust me when I say this, but you'll be kicking yourself for not using the Notion Enhancer earlier because there are some absolute gems in here. And we're starting right now. So the first thing I want you to do is open up a web browser. Then I want you to search for Notion Enhancer. And then we're gonna go onto the github.com page for the Notion Enhancer, which is this very first link. So let's go ahead and click on this. Once you're on this page, this is where you'll find all of the details you need to be able to install the Notion Enhancer, as well as any ongoing issues with the Enhancer as well. You'll also find a list of all the contributors. At the moment, there's about eight. And you can see how much they contribute to the add-on itself. And as you can see, the main developer is Dragon Walkie, who has made most of the changes to the Notion Enhancer. Now let's go back into the code tab. If we scroll down, you'll see a quick description of what the Notion Enhancer is, but you'll also see a section called installation. So this is the bit that we're going to use to be able to install the Notion Enhancer. So the very first thing we need to do is install a program called node.js. It's very easy to do, so all you need to do is go ahead and click this link. It should open up this page and then it'll give you a couple of options. So depending on the operating system that you have on your PC, laptop or MacBook, you can just simply go ahead and select whichever one you want. So I'm currently using a Windows machine. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. That's going to open up this window, which is going to allow me to be able to download the Node.js file. So I'm going to go ahead and click this save. So if you open up your downloads section within your file explorer, you should see this executable. So let's go ahead and double click this. Now we're going to go through the process of installing the Node.js. Let's go ahead and click next. Brilliant, so now it looks like it's successfully finished installing the Node.js installer. Let's go ahead and click finish. So that's the first step of the installation complete. Now let's head back into our GitHub page. So the next thing we need to do is scroll a bit further down and then you'll come across this section over here. Now, again, depending on the system that you have, you need to follow these instructions. In my case, because I'm using Windows 10, all I need to do is open up a command prompt and simply copy paste this particular command in there. So the way you do that is simply go into your search bar and then type in CMD or command prompt and this is what we're looking for. As soon as you've clicked on that, it should open up this window. And now what we're going to do is simply copy and paste this command in there. And we press enter. And there you go. We have now successfully installed the Notion Enhancer. So that completes all the steps that you need to take to be able to install the Notion Enhancer onto your PC, laptop. So now let's jump into our Notion desktop app and see this add-on in action. So on my desktop, I'm going to double click my Notion app icon. So the first time you open up your Notion desktop app, you might find that the top toolbar or the menu bar has now changed or disappeared in this case. And that's because one of the default features when you do install the Notion Enhancer is for the integrated toolbar option to be pre-selected. And what it effectively does is it minimizes the top toolbar and it condenses it into these three options. You can obviously turn this off if you want to be able to have the original original toolbar back in place. But this is just something to be aware of just in case you do open up your desktop app and are a little bit confused as to what's actually happened. Right, so now let's go ahead and look at some of the other features within the Notion Enhancer. The way we actually access the Notion Enhancer isn't through the actual desktop app itself directly. What you need to do is go to your icon tray at the bottom of your screen and then click on the show hidden icons. And what you'll find is that there is a new icon within this tray. And this is the Notion Enhancer icon. Icon. Now, if you actually left click on this, you'll see that the Notion app gets minimized. And if you press it again, it will open up again. So that's just something to be aware of, because that's one of the features that you get as part of the Notion Enhancer. But if you want to be able to customize it further, all we need to do is right click on the icon, and then you'll have this small menu up here. And there's a couple of things you can do in here. One is you can go to the original GitHub page. You can go to the Discord page for this Notion Enhancer. You can also report a bug. So if you do find uh, that there's 
something wrong with your Notion Enhancer, you can click on this link and be able to report that. You can also put forward your ideas about how to actually improve the Notion Enhancer as well. And then you can also open up a new window and then you can also relaunch the app and quit the app as well. But having said all of that, the main menu item that you really want to be able to access is the Enhancements menu. And you can access this one of two ways. One is by simply clicking on this Enhancements over here, or you can use a shortcut, which is just the Alt E when you do have the Notion desktop app open. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this now. So you should now have a small window that's now appeared and this is the Notion Enhancer settings menu. You can obviously move this around, um, you can also change the size of this window if you want and you can just have it open alongside your Notion desktop app. You can obviously maximize this as well. So before I go through all of the different features that are available as part of the Notion Enhancer and there is a lot of customizable options in here actually, I'm going to give you a brief overview of of the main sections of the add-on just so that you're aware and it helps you navigate through all of the different sections as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to maximize this screen just so that we can see different elements. So the first thing you'll notice is that on the very top you have this search bar and once you get familiar with all of the different features of the enhancer you don't actually have to scroll all the way down to find that particular feature. So let's say you wanted to be able to see snappy transitions. What you can simply do is come up here and type in snappy transitions and as you can see it's now taken us to the tweaks section and within the tweaks section we can see snappy transitions. So that's a very quick way of navigating straight to the particular feature that you're interested in either turning on or turning off. So the next thing you'll notice is that there are these filtered hashtags or these groupings that you can actually go ahead and either select or deselect depending on which one you want to be able to look at. So for instance, as part of the Notion Enhancer window, most of the features of this add-on are actually grouped up into various sections that are separated by these bold headings. So tabs, always on top, bracketed links, bypass preview. And each of these sections actually has a hashtag category next to them. For instance, this tabs one is hashtagged under core and also as an extension. And these are the hashtags that you'll see on top over here. So that's the core one and that's the extension one. So each each of the developers of these various sections have actually hashtagged their sections so it's easier for you to be able to navigate and find those depending on those groupings or categories. Now the one that I've actually deselected is the one called enabled and then there's another one here called disabled. So the fact that I've deselected enabled what you'll see is on the right hand side all of the features within the add-on that is currently not enabled has now been filtered and I am seeing all of those features on the right hand side. So like I said this is a quick way to actually again navigate to the different features. So the next thing to be aware of is that we have these two options over here called configure and reorder. If I actually clicked on these what you'll find is at the moment we're in the configure tab which basically means that we can go ahead and toggle any of these features on and off or if I go ahead and click reorder what you'll find is that it collapses or minimizes all of the features within each of the groups and then it allows you to be able to drag and drop reorder the sequence of how these features are displayed within the enhancer. This is obviously quite helpful if you want to be able to just change these things around and move all of the ones that you actually use further up in the menu so it's quicker and easier for you to access as opposed to the default ordering that they come in. And whilst I'm in this reorder menu, let me just quickly scroll down to show you all the various different feature sections that we have. So if I scroll down, as you can see, there are so many different customizable options that will supercharge your Notion and it will take you to the next level. And in fact, I've actually counted these and there are 34 individual sections at the moment that are part of the Notion Enhancer. And don't forget, within each of these sections, you actually have different options. So for instance, if I now go into the configure tab, you can see that as part of the Notion Enhancer core, you don't just have the one toggle feature, you actually have a whole host of things that you can customize. If you put those together, that is a lot of customizable options that you can go through to try and really make sure that your Notion desktop app is looking and feeling and it's got the functionality that you really want. Question for you is, which one of these features in a Notion Enhancer did you find the most helpful? And if you weren't using the Notion Enhancer, 
previous to watching this video, then let me know if this video helped convince you to actually start using it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this. And if there's any other videos that you want me to make, then please do let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.